My name is Christine Hiller and I'm an interpretive naturalist for Minnesota State Parks and Trails at J. Cook State Park. The St. Louis River has many animals that live in or near the water. Each of them has adaptations to help them survive and live in this aquatic environment. Let's take a closer look at two of those animals, the river otter and the North American beaver, to see how they are adapted for the unique roles they play in a river ecosystem. First though, you might be wondering, what is an adaptation? An adaptation is a feature or body part that helps an animal survive in their environment. This fish has fins so it can swim and gills so it can breathe underwater. The beaver and otter also have many adaptations for living in the water, some of which are similar. Let's head on over to the beaver lodge to check them out. Look how thick their fur is. When we look closely at this beaver pelt, we see this fuzzy layer closer to the skin that keeps them warm, and then longer hairs that keep them dry. Both of them have flaps in their nose and their ears that they can shut to keep the water out. Under the water, they both use nictitating eyelids, which are a clear eyelid that they can see through so that dirt and debris doesn't get into their eyes. Their other adaptations, though, are what separate them into the unique roles that they play along the river. Check out this beaver skull. These huge incisors are great for chewing down the trees they use for food and building dams or lodges. You'll notice that they have a brown stain on the front. It's not because they don't brush their teeth. That stain is actually a hard enamel that keeps their teeth strong. Look at the back of the teeth without that stain. They wear down more quickly, which leaves a sharp angle to quickly gnaw through wood. When you look at a tree that beavers have chewed on, you can see those tooth marks where they have scraped away the wood. Chewing on wood is hard on the teeth, so the other adaptation that they have is that their front teeth constantly grow. These flat molars also tell us that this animal is an herbivore. It eats plants like leaves, grass, and cattails. Let's compare beaver teeth to otter teeth. Otters have sharp, pointy incisors and scissor-like molars. These are not teeth for eating plants. Otters are carnivores that eat fish, frogs, and other critters in the river. Their teeth are meant to hold on to their food. These sharp teeth rip and shred the food that they've caught. Otters' torpedo-shaped bodies are designed to hunt for fast-moving food. Along with this muscular tail and web feet, they can swim very fast as they chase fish. Otters have webbing on all four of their paws. Beavers also have web feet, but only on the back ones. Their front feet look like little hands. This helps them do two things, swim with the web feet and dig or grab with their front feet as they place sticks and mud they use to build their lodges and dams. Another obvious adaptation is this flat tail. It can be used for steering as they're swimming, but more importantly, it's used as a warning call. When they sense danger, they'll slap that flat tail down on the water, which makes a very loud sound. It will let other beavers know to dive under the water and hide. That tail also helps them balance while they work. It's kind of like having a kickstand so that they don't fall over while they're chewing on trees. Beavers can chew down up to 200 trees a year. That has a big impact on what other plants grow along the river. Beavers can also significantly change their habitat by making dams. A fast-moving stream that is dammed will become a slow-moving pond. In turn, this influences what kind of animals live nearby, since some animals prefer fast water and some prefer slow. Let's go check out where the otter lives. Otters are top predators in the river that help keep the fish population in balance. Here in the park, there are a lot of fast-moving rapids where other aquatic predators like muskie or northern pike don't really hang out. Otters can move more easily between the fast rapids and the slow waters as they hunt for fish. They're keeping areas of the river healthy that other predators can't get to. Although river otters and beavers are both brown furry animals that live in the water, Hopefully you can see that each of them has its own adaptations that help it play unique roles in the river ecosystem.